What I have here is a plastic syringe with a little space in the middle, and that's where air can go. Um, and I've got a plunger that I'm going to put on that syringe in a minute. But first what I want to do is add just a little bit of cotton uh, to the bottom of the syringe. Doesn't take much, but I first have to get it out of this piece of plastic, uh, which is turning out to be harder than I thought. Okay, so I'll just take a little bit of cotton and I'll push it down into the bottom of the syringe. And of course, I want it to go all the way down there. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of cotton in the bottom of that syringe. And now I'm going to um, put the plunger in and screw it down. That plunger is making an airtight seal with the uh, plastic cylinder. So in the end, there's no way air can escape when I'm gonna push the plunger down. So what I'm gonna do in a minute is push the plunger down as hard as I can. Um, but in order to see what's gonna happen, I'm gonna have to turn off the um, uh, light. So let me do that. All right, so even though you can't see much now, uh, and I can't even see where the uh, plunger is anymore. Um, there it is, okay. Even though you can't see much anymore, just keep watching the center of the screen. So what happened there? You saw that big flash of light, right? That was the cotton catching on fire. The reason the cotton caught on fire is that there was air in that cylinder and it couldn't escape when I pushed the plunger down, so I started compressing that air. And by compressing the air, I was adding energy to the system. Uh, and that energy can't be destroyed, it's gotta go somewhere. Uh, it goes into heating up the air that's being compressed. So as I add energy to the system by pushing on the plunger, I end up heating up the air. And if I do it fast enough and hard enough, I heat up the air enough that the temperature goes above the auto ignition point for cotton and the cotton catches fire. So I didn't need to add a match in order to get the cotton to catch fire. I just needed to heat up the surroundings enough so that the chemical reaction between carbon and oxygen in the air could happen. And I was able to, doing that, to do that by adding energy to the system by pushing on the plunger.